Oh, it's just a white bulb. Hey! Is Samsung faking our astrophotography moon pictures? It all started with Carl that it's here in the chat that sent me a message in Discord with a link. And he told me, Tiago, look at this link, it's very interesting. And I don't remember if I was, it was too late or I was too tired or so. I clicked on the link, but without willing to do it. And I just saw at the beginning, Samsung is faking the moon and whatever. And I thought, oh no, another one with uh, fake news or conspiracy theories. And I answered him, don't care about that, forget it, don't waste your time on that. And he asked me again, he insisted and he said, Hey Tiago, did you open it, the link at least and read it? It's very well documented. And as he insisted, I said, okay, I will watch it. So I opened the link and the link forward to a Reddit group called it Android and someone which has the nickname of Highbreak Photos. The first instinct was to get out of here. And it says Samsung Space Zoom Moon shots are fake. And here is the proof. And I have a Samsung, I have a S21. Pay attention to this because I want your opinion is very important at the end. The guy has apparently the S20 Ultra, which has a feature to zoom and it zooms like a charm. I zoom to a bird or something so far away and it gets a, a really nice zoomed image, which usually they are not very sharp, they are a mess. But in the Samsung, my S21 is very nice. I like a lot the Samsung. I took pictures of the moon with the Samsung, which were very nice. So what he did was a test. He downloaded an uh, image of the moon. He blurred the image of the moon. What he did was to open this image on the screen. The room was completely at darkness and he pointed the zoom feature to the monitor. He claimed that he saw the details of the moon over that image which were impossible because it was blurred. So he said, based on that, that Samsung was faking the moon picture. I was skeptical, my instinct, do the same test. I did the same test and it didn't work. So the picture I took was still a blurred picture of the moon. So I was even more skeptical about this all mess. So I start reading the comments here. I said, well, I will read the comments and I will answer Carl that, uh, okay, I tested and did it, it didn't work. But then everything changed in 180 degrees because of one simple link on this post. At the first answer, here he says, on this link, Samsung does talk about using artificial intelligence to enhance the moon shots and explain the image process. Okay, you will click there. This is a community from Samsung. In Korean, this was translated by Google to English. The first thing I did was to confirm this web address, communitysamsung.com. And I thought, well, it seems real. It's the community of Samsung. Let's go down here to see the last words. Copyright. 1995 Samsung. This is green alert in this case. So I start reading all of this. What this site says is this was written in the community of Samsung by a moderator. This community is real and he explains here everything and it's true. Samsung here confirmed that they use AI in the smartphone Samsung to the zoom pictures of the moon, which means when I'm taking the picture of the moon and it's kind of blurred, the AI acts and plays the details. They try not to be so explicit here in Samsung, but what the truth is, they, they don't do the convolution, they don't uh, use processes that we use in astrophotography, not adding stuff, not replacing stuff or adding new stuff. They just use uh, AI and they add stuff because when they have no details of the moon, they add stuff, new stuff that they know already from other pictures that exist of the moon. The moon is locked to the earth. So the side of the moon is always the same, as you know, and it's only with the moon that this happens. They explain very well here 
the blurring moon and then the moon with detail and the process they use data learning blah 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 you see here this works only for the moon okay so far so good okay they are using ai people like to watch the moon the question is here it's okay that the technology use the smartphone smartphones are for mainstream we usually don't use those devices for astrophotography i'm interested in the astrophotography side of this and that's okay to take some pictures show the moon to the friends and to the family or relatives i can buy that now what wrong from my point of view is when samsung is promoting the smartphone they use that feature as something very special you can take pictures of the moon but they don't ever signal that ai feature because this is only the the top of the iceberg because think with me this is the third samsung generation from the 20 s20 that they are doing this so they are evolving google and microsoft are on the race now but the thing is i admit that all the smartphones use the ai if you take natural pictures of some trees or nature or something they are already and they were already enhancing those trees and those leaves and things that are enhanced by ai but the moon what's next to use that ai to keep evolving and use that to add stuff to our astrophotography is it the same if it's a machine ai doing that or if it's a human at some point the ai is going to determine that we are a problem which i agree with and will try to get rid of us ai mu muy malo well that's a question that we don't know you can see ai 50 50 from a good side or a bad side a bad side is that one they will uh, get over us and they will see that humans are a mess that we are <laughs> and they will get rid of us because they are more powerful and they learn already everything that they need to rule and to go out of space but it can be the opposite it can be the humans can be better can use ai and that they can use and they will use ai to go to other planets far away we can't go we have to send machines of course ai will never replace the humans but they are learning i'm open-minded as long as there is the ability to turn it off i will be fine with it yes there is in the samsung website the community where they they explain everything you have and i was quickly watching my my samsung to to confirm that and mine is enabled by default is enabled if you want you can disable it but i left mine enabled <laughs> it's only the moon and i don't use it for the moon and give me your opinion about it